Hey guys, it's Aaron here. Okay, I've been playing Breath of the Wild since, well, when it was released, and I've been having quite a lot of fun with it. So what I thought I'd do is make a few videos and uh, just show me playing through some of the parts of the game. Uh, there really isn't too many spoilers in this. I am using some, well, equipment that you do get later on in the game. Maybe a few weapons as well, but still. Uh, I might do some videos where I do venture out later into the game, though. So, I'm just going to land in the plateau area. When I played this game, uh, well, the first few hours of it, you do come across this stone talus. And uh, I tried and tried. I couldn't beat him. So, now that I've got a few better items, hopefully that will be the case. Uh, I've just got to remember where I can find him. But still, I'm just going to have a look around. So, uh, just climb up the tree. Sometimes I have found bits up there, but... Not so much in this case. Let's go elsewhere. Occasionally you do come across rupees. Uh, they're very, very difficult to find though. A lot of the other Zelda games, you come across rupees all the time. But this game, it's so much different. Uh, you can sometimes find them in barrels, but... Oh, what's that? We've got some uh, a couple of boulders up there. Just grab the apple. Might try and give that a nudge off. Uh, try magnesis first. No, that's not going to work. Let's just give it a nudge. Yeah, sometimes these can kill moblins if they're nearby. And I think there are some moblins. Let's give the other one a push. Will it get them? nice too so yeah they do come in handy i might just glide down though okay yeah that sound means there's a shrine nearby but firstly let's take these guys out i might have actually already done this area earlier so generally you come across these moblins in this little camp area and once you defeat them all you can like get a treasure chest but i'm pretty sure i've already got this yeah usually it would appear by now I might just take a look in the uh, big skull, but no, nothing really of use. Let's head back out. Let's pick a few of these up. Arrows always come in handy. It's well worth having them. Oh. That wasn't too bad. These guys on the other hand are usually a bit tougher, but still. Shouldn't have too much of an issue. Yeah, it's really weird. You, you can actually use their arms as a weapon. I do find I have a lot of fun, actually, just exploring the world, finding a mountain to climb. Uh, you can usually find something of interest by doing that. Uh, it's quite good as well, because you, as you progress through the game, you can actually have more stamina. So if a mountain is a bit too tall, uh, using the extra stamina really helps. If I continue over this way, I think I, I see something up on the ledge there. If I perhaps glide over to it, I might get to it. No, don't know why I did that. Let's just jump and glide. I think Nintendo's done really well with making this big world that just holds so many secrets. Okay, we got a little, I believe, a C puzzle. So, if I use Magnesis and just pop the block over here, just drop it down. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, so basically, you, you solve these little puzzles, you get some Karoxes, and uh, yeah, a bit later on in the game, you can get to use them. So, check out that view. Okay, I'm going to try something a bit fun now. So, you probably already have heard, but you can actually surf on your shield. So, if I continue to climb up somewhere a bit higher up and I'll give it a go. Generally it's really fun and what you can also do is actually uh, fire your bow with them too. I probably won't do this now but still. 
And yeah, over in the distance, that's like the snow area. It's a bit cold. As you can see, Link's uh, shaking slightly. Okay, let's give this a go. Actually, I might just change the shield to the uh, Boko shield. I should do it now. If I can pull it off, of course. There you go. So yeah, you have to admit, that's pretty neat. You can also traverse more of the area using the shield. Oh, that was close. Okay, let's go on a moblin hunt then. So I'll just continue up here. It has started raining now. Uh, it doesn't really affect too much, but if you're climbing mountains, it can be a problem. Usually just slip that down. There's some moblins over there. So what I might do is just creep in, sneak in. Fingers crossed they won't actually see me. Yeah, he saw me. Just use the bow on him. Nice. And I think there's a couple more rushing me. Might just change my uh, shield back. That was a bit careless, but still. Uh, one more in the back. Just take him out. Another. Perfect, perfect. Let's go and see if he's left me any goodies. Uh... Okay, there's another camp over there. I see some meat on the uh, the barbecue as well. What I might tr try and do, actually, is drop a bomb down. That probably wasn't the best idea, but... Yeah, no, they're rushing towards me. Fingers crossed that will blow. Nice. That was pretty awesome. Okay, I might just go down. Yeah, in some of the barrels you do find items, so I might have a look in a second. Oh, great. Boku Club broke. I better swap that over. Yeah, after a while of using your weapon, it does break it. Sometimes can be a bit annoying. But you do usually find better items as you go on. If I head up here a bit, I think I see... Is that a squirrel? Probably shouldn't kill it, but why not? Yeah, it's a bit weird you get an acorn from a squirrel. Where was he hiding it? Okay, so I'm going to head back into the uh, snowy area. Now, it does get pretty cold around here, so I might change to uh, a different bit of... I the warm doublet, that'll do. Yeah, earlier in the game, if you try and get to this area, you will run into issues. I tried several times to just run up the hill, but you just cannot do it. You can actually uh, cook a few items and get, like, extra uh, warmth. So you can venture into the area, which does work. So there might be some more moblins around. I might continue to head up this way. Just jump up the mountainside here. I love the fact you can just climb up anything in this game. Just makes it much more immersive. Okay, I see a, a camp over there, so I'll head over. Fingers crossed they don't see me, but I can't promise that. Okay, maybe if I blow the barrels up, that's not doing much. Weird. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? Oh, crap. Yeah, you've got to be very careful with your hearts, right? Previous Zelda games, you didn't really have to be too concerned, but there's plenty of times you will get killed in one hit. And uh, you need to be careful. Keep your life stocked up. Right, fingers crossed it goes a bit better. I might use bombs. Mm, I might give that another go. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, that did the job. Awesome. Uh, 
Okay, I might go for a bit more of an explore. I think there's an enemy back there. I didn't mean to do that. Did he hear me? No, I don't think so, but yeah, he saw me. He is definitely a bit more powerful. I might try and do a, a flurry rush. There you go. So yeah, that definitely helps when you can get that move in. Uh, Rusty Claymore is badly damaged. Fingers crossed it does the job. Yeah, it's broke. I've got plenty of better items, so it's not really too much of concern. Uh, what I might do, though, is uh, just head up here. Right, I think I'm going to head back down to the forest area. And fingers crossed, find the stone talus. Just got to remember which way to go, but pretty sure it's down there. That's a pretty nice view of the world there. All of the orange towers, they're the ones that I haven't actually come and unlocked yet. The blue ones are the ones I have. So uh, I'll just head down here. Should make it. Job done. Right, I believe the forest... Well... I guess the trees kind of give it away slightly. Must be down here somewhere. Take a left and go down perhaps. There should be a, somewhere I can jump off or get a better view at least. And yeah, this is looking familiar. So not there, but maybe to the right. Yeah, that's looking good. If I glide down... Okay, so yeah, the stone talos is that big stone block in the uh, centre there. So what I might do is just eat something. If he gets a hit in, he will get, probably get a few hearts off me. Right, head down. If I land down on that stone. And fingers crossed this goes a lot better than the first few times. So yeah, the idea is, what I want to do is just jump onto him and climb up onto the top. And on top, you might be able to see it, there's like a big black blob, uh, which is ore. And you have to uh, just smash that to bits. But yeah, you really want to go around the back. There we go. These bits are actually really good fun. So... If I just swap my weapon over, maybe. Yeah. Vicious Sickle. That should do some damage. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely doing the damage. Yeah, the early, early game items just really did nothing. I think I might even do this on the first attempt. Just should get a couple of hits in. And job done. No. What a surprise. Okay. That is really uh, unfortunate. So, if I can just try and get back on top of him. If he lets me. There we go. No. Yeah, I'd better eat something real quick. Maybe a few more bits. Okay, let's try that again. Just need to be careful he doesn't swing round and hit you because that's where the damage comes in. Okay, if I grab onto his... Is that a leg or an arm? Just... Oh. Oh, I think that's done it. Nice. Right, couple of hits. Awesome. Okay. Finally. Yeah, that was definitely easier than the first few times. So, what have I got? Ruby. Nice. I don't think I've come across one of those yet. In any case, I think I'm going to leave the video there. I will be back with a, a second part very, very soon. If you've enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, maybe subscribe. Thanks for watching.